Hello, YouTubers! This is going to be the second video of staining my ants across. I will may be making a part 3, the final video of um, engraving my aunt's name into this cross I am making for. She's no longer here. I do miss my aunt a lot. I loved her. She was like, she was one of my favorite aunts to go visit. But I also, in part one, I'm going to update you guys on some of my photos. And also, in this video, I'm also going to show you a cross I made for Lynn when she also passed away, and I will show you that right now. And I'm going to also update you on the types of stains I use to make my crosses and, and stuff like that, guys. I will turn the camera around and show you guys what I've been doing for I. Uh, Lush today. I, I gotta get this done. It's gonna probably rain, rain and stuff, guys. And if I don't get this done, because I let this sit 24 hours of drying time. Normally it takes four to six hours if you're brushing it on. But not the staining with the polyfill is not completely perfect like you do with orange stains. Like that's the regular, the, like the regular stain you would normally use, guys. But well, let's turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about, guys. All right, here is my cross. This is part two. But let's talk about the cross I made. This is the cross I made for Lynn. And yes, it does have copper wire in it for the outline. And here is some of the photos. This is first, second, third, and fourth. If you guys want to actually look at the detail, there is copper inside of the copper wire. Here is my ant's cross I am making. And by the way, I stained this two times. I stained it the first time. Now I'll show you on the back. This is the first stain. I'm not staining the back of this because I'm going to put felt on it. Uh, this will be going on my aunt's grave, probably. There was the back. It's completely wet. It's drying. Here is the stain I used called polyfill. Let me get my thumb out of the way. Uh, it's more in the way. See, it's polyfill stain it is uh, two and one and what does that mean it means it's actual a two and a one stain it means it has the it has a stain then it has a polyester coating inside of it and here is just the standard regular stain this is just the regular stain not polyfill and of course my glove to keep stain off my hand and what I opened it I also got my screwdriver and also I sanded it as well as sand some sand some cheapo sand paper you can buy any type of sand paper if you want and here's a couple more of my brushes the sponge brushes these are now done I can't reuse them the uh, brushes but I'm gonna let this dry completely overnight again like I did before but it's gonna rain tonight and I have to bring it in to actually let this completely cool and, and dry and if you're wondering where my screws here's my screws the standard Phillips screws to go into the bottom of the cross and like I said it will be a hanging one or it'll be a floor one. This is like I said it's a project I never got done. Uh, this project's been actual this project's been done this cross has been made but it has not been stained uh, this year. 
I done it in 2000 and originally this was gonna go for my my path but I have also one for Len I also have one for my aunt and I also have one for grandma and also Pat as well I mean uh, that's a these are beautiful crosses I make made out of completely out of wood now this one's completely different because I actually got the uh, crosses inward versus this way because it's more heavier that way just nearing it that way but I am very good with doing uh, these and very good doing it with my hands and one note I will make sure on if you guys are using polyfill um, it's very hard to get it perfect because you will see blotches and some ruin on it but like I said I really can't help you on that if you don't want to use a polyfill stain you can also use the regular wood stain then you then you're gonna have to spend extra money on the clear coat instead you buy you have to buy the stain then you buy the clear coat to put on that's why I went to Walmart and got the polyfill stain because it's a lot faster for me um, would I be staining this anymore no, this is, will be the last stain. I only stained this two times. Because, one, because... The more, the more time, guys, the more time you stain it, guys, um, the more, the more the wood's gonna look darker, and it's gonna look more ugly -er, and I can tell you that right now. With darker stain now, of course, you got lighter stains and you got also lighter woods. Now, this was a light wood, but that was a dark style wood over there. You can see how this one actually came out beautiful with all the grains. And you can see here is all my photos. These are the four photos i done. I should have done a picture photo of this one being made for you guys, but... To show you on how well I did this, they're very great. Now I done this for Lynn in 2006, but the year says 2005. That's the year she died. By the way, uh, I actually did it in 2006. But like I said, it's, these are very good crosses I made. But I'm not sure I saw it again with the noisy air conditioner on. The noisy locusts and crap we got out here and stuff. But on the bottom of this, I am not staining it, guys. So you can guys why I keep flipping it from that side to this side. Because I'm not going to stain this. Because after I put the felt on it, nobody ain't going to notice that at all, no. But I really don't know. I really don't want to put this anywhere outdoors because it's not going to be protected by the elements for oil and stuff like that. That's why most people just buy some cheap stuff and throw them together. But I take my time on doing these guys. I mean, these are not, I mean, not the greatest um, in the world of staining with the polyfill. But just try your best, and if, if who's out there knows more about stains, maybe you guys could help me on how to stain my wood better with the polyfill. But I got news for you, I can actually stain better, tell you what, with the iron stain. And after this is all done drying, guys, I will engrave it, then make a video. I would, I would not make the video of graving it and showing you guys how to do that. I will actually do it when I am done like I did with this. Because it's just a lot easier for me because I don't have, I do have a tripod and I don't want to have to keep pointing my camera at the uh, stuff I am doing 
with my hands because it's kind of hard to do uh, with uh, cameras and stuff like that. But so it did turn out nice, honestly, guys. I mean, I'm not saying she is a perfect, perfect cost and a perfect stain, but she came out pretty good. I have to say that. But this will be going to one of my cousins. I don't know which cousin I'm going to give it to. Or if it's actually going to go on my aunt's grave itself. But, like I said, I mean... We also got our own... Stuff I do, and stuff I... I know I have to take care of my... Uh, your, uh, uh, lawn. But like I said, I mean... The more videos I do for you guys... Uh, the more I'm trying to get um, better at doing the videos but don't challenge me on anything guys I'm not that great of editing and stuff like that guys but I do these for you guys if you want I can also make you these if you have an aunt or any relatives that have passed on I can make you some of these and send them to you guys if you, if that's, if you want, if not, that's fine with me too. I can just upload more videos of making these. All you need is really, you just need some wood. I don't really need concrete to actually make a perfect stand or a perfect cross, you know? Oh yes, by the way, she's completely warped because she was up in my act all the time, but Oh, what's this big brown thing you see? Oh, that's cardboard on the top of this white table. Now, I'll let you know one secret. If you get the stain on you, you're gonna have to use uh, a li uh, liquid thinnel. Uh, like, stain thinnel. Got to go buy some stain thinnel to get the stain off you um, and also off the uh, and also off the table if you accidentally get it on you or on the table itself because the stain is pretty hard to get off with just soap and water okay now how often should you restain your stuff now it pretends if you have your stain completely outside. You know, if you leave it outside, you know, and it's been weathered so much. See, and got news for you, this is, and I got news for you guys, this is, uh, these type of stuff is not really designed to go outside because the more stuff, the more stain stuff you have outside, the more maintenance you're gonna have to really do on it. You know, it's not like you can take the fence over there and take it out of the ground and oh, completely stain it. It acts out to stain it where it's out the same with the post over the hill. The more stain, the more maintenance you guys got. But like I said, here, this is like I said, part two of this video, guys. Let me turn the camera around. But why do I like doing these crosses and stuff, guys? Because I do them for fun and I do them for experiments and staining and stuff like that. But like I said, uh, this this is part two of my video. It'll be a part three of me engraving the uh, cross, but not on camera. I'll be doing it off camera because I'm more relaxed and more comfortable with doing stuff off camera versus being on camera. I like to do the video off camera and upload it to YouTube to you guys on camera when I'm completely done and I'm sorry guys I would like to do that some more but I just don't have the the capability of how to using the camera and, and try you know try but I'm not you're not get great of it guys you know but back to the cross and everything, I love making them, guys. If you guys want me to make you something for your relatives or your family, 
just let me know. Uh, look me up on YouTube. Chris9067. Uh, That's my YouTube channel. Search me up there. And also, I would say good. I would say peace. Love you guys on YouTube. Alright. This is part two of ending video today. And making a new one again for you guys tomorrow. Alright guys. I will talk to you guys later. Peace!